Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello. Welcome to PyTorch tutorial series. Today we shall discuss about LSTM that is long short term memory. LSTM is a variant of recurrent neural network. Recurrent neural network learns feature from in time from our data set. We call it temporal feature learning. But connecting various neural networks in a series and feeding each of them input data is inefficient. Instead, we can modify our structure and we can have better results. One of the biggest drawbacks of recurrent neural network is vanishing and exploding gradients that takes place during back propagation over time. Your series of neural networks can be very huge and because you have to do back propagation over time, you have to back propagate in each of the neural networks and when you reach from the last timestamp to first timestamp in time your gradients might tend to vanish or explode that is beyond the calculation limit of a computer also this back propagation over time is a costly process that takes lots of computation which are very complicated to reduce this computational overhead and remove this problem of exploding and vanishing gradient, LSTM, that is long short term memory, was introduced. You can think of it as how we remember important things in our lives for instance our credit card numbers our mobile numbers etc and we also choose to forget various unimportant things for instance what we had for dinner one month ago or what we did a year back on this day these are unimportant information and we tend to forget it because we don't need it so why can't a neural network do the same thing remember tanh function is a very powerful function and tanh activation function has a range from minus 1 to plus 1 the 0 to minus 1 part of tanh function is used in lstm or recurrent neural network to forget the memory and the positive half of the tanh function is used to retain a memory and like this way the neural network decides which data to remember and which data to forget after various experimentation it has been found that it is very helpful so let's jump in and write our first code in pytorch about lstm to do that as usual you have to import torch torch.nn torch vision torch vision dot transforms torch vision dot data sets and especially mnist so this is the structure of an lstm model it looks very complicated and the figure has been taken from this link this is a very good link written uh, this is a blog written by shi yan so once you read these labels you will understand what's going on so here we have the input ht minus 1 and we have two outputs ht there is one input vector xt so these c's are memories from previous block and ht minus 1 is output from the previous block as we saw in the simple rnn the memory block from current block is this one 
and we have lots of sigmoids function in this part and we have tan h function to retain or forget memory like i said sometimes we want to retain a memory sometimes we want to forget a memory and this cross and plus are basically addition and multiplication in element wise vectors in pytorch so this is just one cell of lstm and like this we set up a lot of lstm models which is very efficient we call cuda we download our data set and number of classes is as usual 10 batch size is 100 we are running two epochs only learning rate is 0 0.01 train loader and test loader as usual we did in the previous videos in the rnn module there is there will be some slight changes in the init function we are calling input size hidden size number of layers and number of classes we define our hidden layer hidden size number of layers and instead of nn.rnn we are calling nn.lstm and that takes care of everything don't forget to uh, make the batch first flag true and in this case you don't have to add li linear non linearity because it will automatically take care of the sigmoids and tan h activation functions in the forward pass i include the input from the previous block for zeroth instance that is a bunch of zeros and we also have to include this c0 that is memory from the previous block so now we have two parameters one is output from the previous block and the other one is memory from the previous block and we'll get an output from the current block and a memory from the current block because we don't want to retain 100 percent of our output we want either partial or sometimes full depending on the context and finally we print our output so, so the sequence length is 28 as we saw in the previous video i explained why is it like that the input size is 28 number of layers is 2 as we saw in the uh, as we saw here the number of layers hidden size input size goes into this rnn module we instantiate our rnn model the loss function is cross entropy loss like i have mentioned multiple times optimizer is adam you can change it to rms prop and it will run as good as it will run now and this is the training block and here we have total number of steps equal to the length of the train loader which is basically 600 and we run our loop for two epochs and each one loads the input data and do the same things we did in the previous videos we took images we took labels we in the forward pass we predicted in the forward pass we predicted the outputs from the model then we calculated our loss function and then we did optimizer dot zero underscore grad that removes all the gradients then we calculated the backward propagation uh, over loss and finally optimizer dot step updates the weights and biases and one thing to remember here is that this all these things is being done on each of the LSTM modules so this is back propagation over time so our model is ready after our training and the final loss is 0 0.02852 we'll see how much accuracy it gives so it gave 97.43% accuracy 
on 10,000 test images, which is really, really high. Thanks for watching.